<laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> Shoot. I didn't, was not expecting that. All right. We'll start with questions. I think we have one on the left in the middle back there. Hi, it's Aisha from BET. What is your definition of progressive R&B? Try it again. Hello, hello. My definition of progressive R&B, uh, I think it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's fluid. It's, uh, it's a movement, you know, it's not so, um, I don't know. It, it, it's in the middle. It's like, uh, I can't find the word, but it's like a, some sort of like gray area when it comes to like black music, you know. Um, it doesn't always get acknowledged, you know, and um, I'm grateful for this category to acknowledge those more. I don't know. The, the basic word I would say is like weird, you know, um, weird black artist. You know, we, it isn't this, it isn't that. It's just what it is. So I think that would be my definition of uh, progressive R&B. And then we have in the back right. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Over hey. Here. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Kaylee Lefebvre with iHeartRadio. Oh, um, what's up? I know you've been working with music for the last, you know, it's been almost 10 years now. You've worked with Mac Miller. You've worked mm -hmm. with some big names. Who is inspiring you the most now? Um, I think I automatically have to say Fouché because I'm just with her the most. Uh, and we're just always working on stuff. So say Fouché, yeah. Yeah. And then our last question is going to be in the back left. Speaking of oh, Christine with KTLA, congratulations. Thank with, you. With um, R&B in your award title, is there anyone in the R&B genre from growing up or now that really influenced you maybe just getting into this business in the first place? Sorry, say it again. Who's your biggest R&B influence? Uh, Static Major. Static major, 100%. Awesome. I think that's it. Yeah. Big congratulations, and thank you, Steve. Thank you. I love static major. I have to keep saying that. 